Clock USC and UCLA are slated to be Big Ten schools in the next couple of years. That sounds weird, doesn't it? Does it does sound weird, CBS yeah. CBS 4's Eric Graves went downtown today to get reaction from fans and see what it could mean for Indianapolis. Doesn't seem right, man. It's like Pac-12, isn't it? I mean, I was definitely surprised it kind of came out of nowhere. Two Southern California schools, USC and UCLA, set to join the most Midwest conference out there. Fans we talked to weren't so sure. So, you know, I like keeping everything uh, Big Ten, Midwest. Honestly, it doesn't make sense. I don't know why they would jump out. Jack Wright is a Pac-12 fan, Arizona State to be exact. He's visiting Indy for a volleyball tournament. Losing teams like that, you can't, you can't replace a USC, a UCLA. Visit Indy is excited about the potential of new fans. New fans in the city is really just an opportunity uh, for repeat visitors, for them to fall in love in Indianapolis and come back again and again and again. USC and UCLA aren't set to join the Big Ten till 2024, but fans are already thinking about the long trek between opponents. If they catching the flight, they should be good. Uh, if they got to ride that bus, that's a long trip. Just how far is it? Let's say Purdue or IU is going to go from here in Indiana all the way over to California to play UCLA or USC in a football game. There's about 2100 miles between the two. Now for the team plane, that's about a four hour direct flight. And if you want a road trip there to watch the game, how does 30 hours in a car sound? But how about UCLA or USC coming here to Indy? The first chance could be the 2024 Big Ten Championship game at Lucas Oil. It would be weird seeing like a USC, Ohio State, or IU, hopefully, uh, Big Ten Championship football, so we'll see what happens. At the very least, it's safe to say Hoosiers would welcome their new California rivals with open arms. Come down here, you get to walk around, see the circle, um, just, just check out what we got here in Indianapolis. Reporting in downtown Indy, Eric Graves, CBS 4 News.